You're late to the party. How does it feel to be responsible for the fall of Zion? <laughs> In spite of everything, I do wonder why he chose you instead of me. There will be nothing left of you when I'm finished. A human? That face, it's... Familiar. Wait. Raven? From I'm not human. The first ever fusion between an Andro Ados and an Etiba. I am the first of the Alpha Netibas. It was Mother Spear who deceived us. You would have remained ignorant if not for him. There is an unspoken truth you don't dare acknowledge. <laughs> taken so much from me. In exchange, I'll allow you to witness the end. In that state. Huh? What? What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Eve! Stop right there! Finish this! Eve! Is this how real life is born, after all? There's an elder at the end of this path. This place... It's too quiet. It's strangely... peaceful. watching us. From where, I don't know. I don't see any Nativas on the road. It's like someone wants this place to remain undisturbed. Raven probably set it up. 
I suspect it hasn't been used since you met the Elder. And changed. Thank goodness it's working. Yes. I'm also getting the feeling that it's our last camp. I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades! The people of Zion who trusted you! Tell me why they had to die! Eve... You... You have every right to be mad. I understand. Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First... I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this? Gruesome slaughter. Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, 
with the most advanced Unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean... Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve, I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Sorry. I can't accept this. <sighs> Eve. No matter how much blood has stained Mother Sphere's hands, and no matter how heavy your burden is to save the surviving humans, I don't want to be controlled by those things anymore. I want to make my own decisions, as nobody else but myself. All decisions. Even the decision... to bring you down. All right. This... is also very like you. I understand, Eve. However... I still have things worth protecting. Eva, I wish you well. Adam, Eve isn't alone this time. Lily, please, stay out of this. Huh, you wish! Adam. 
is not the best. We need to save everyone. Truly are a wonder. I must shed my humanity and become a monster. Now it really begins.
Adam. I'm sorry. Uh, Eve. With this, the history of humans is over. Your will, your actions, your decisions. I just hope that everyone is guided in the right direction. starry night. Reading the future is like mapping out the night sky. And sometimes you catch a glimpse of a shooting star falling towards Earth. Yes, seeing the future is just like that. I fully respect your decision, Eve, even if it is a bittersweet one. I will be waiting for you, and I will be watching. Mother Sphere. Is it done? Is it finally over? Yes, it is, Eve and Lily. It is time to go home. We still have things to do. First, let's pay Mother Sphere a visit. We have a few questions for her, remember? I can see the colony! Oh... 